Passing isn't the only thing on my mind. And with GoDaddy? The president struck a defiant tone while addressing the UN General Assembly today about on important foreign policy issues. He blasted Iran and praised North Korea. Weijia Jiang is at the UN. At times, President Trump's promise of America first sounded more like America alone during his speech at the United Nations. We reject the ideology of globalism and we embrace the doctrine of patriotism. The president reserved his most stern rhetoric for Iran, scolding the regime as he forcefully stood by his decision to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal. Iran's leaders plunder the nation's resources to enrich themselves and to spread mayhem. Mr. Trump commended North Korea for its willingness to negotiate a deal to denuclearize. I would like to thank Chairman Kim for his courage and for the steps he has taken, though much work remains to be done. A stark contrast to what he said during last year's speech. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. During the liveliest part of President Trump's speech today, he drew ridicule when he boasted about what he's done for the U.S. My administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. But President Trump says he thinks his speech went great and that it was meant to prompt some laughter. He also got a few smirks from the German delegation after he criticized Berlin for buying oil from Russia. Jeff, it was the only time during the speech the president mentioned Russia by name. Okay, we just... All right, Shalom, Kalah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shad, Bashim, Rakaq, Kadash, the one that stood out the Apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, underneath the banner and the standards of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I'm just going to get right into it, man. You seen the video? You know these are the uh, the signs of this wicked kingdom going down, man. Okay, <laughs> and rightfully so, man. How you gonna sit up there and blame uh, other nations, saying that they commit atrocities and what they're doing wrong in their countries when you're the main catalyst for all woes on the planet, man? Okay, when I say that, I'm saying the so-called uh, Edom, white man, which is the so-called Edomite, or the so-called white man, which is Edom. Let's put it like that. And I'm going to say that because I'm at the plantation. I'm going to say Edom and Esau to uh, correlate with the so-called white man who is not white. They are red men. Okay. And uh, yeah, at times out of end, whether they like it or not. Okay. And it's shown through, uh, you just seen it. Okay. So we're going to get uh, right into it. And I got a couple of scripts. First one I'm going to get is Psalms. Uh, uh, not Psalms. So I can, let me just go ahead and get it. Isaiah 14, 16. Isaiah 14 and 16 it says I will ascend above the heights of the clouds I will be like the most high yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the side of the pit they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider they, thee saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble that dig shake kingdoms okay and you've seen it okay at the UN uh, uh, meeting that they was having <laughs> When he said, <laughs> America is 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 great or something to that effect, man. Everybody started laughing. 
because now they can't boast themselves anymore, man. Everybody has that uh that killer weapon, which is the nuclear missile. All right, so it's no need to shake and tremble and buy boots anymore, man. And the boots, <laughs> hey, they ready to tango, you know. And you've seen them pointing out certain nations, Iran, uh, North Korea, Germany, Russia. You go into Obadiah, the seventh verse, hey, all the men that he thought that was uh, confederate with him was going to turn against them, all right? And we're going to see that, all right? Let's get uh, Jeremiah 15 and 23. It says, it says, How is the hem of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Okay. And this is this is how man they pri they pride uh, has superseded them so much man that these other nations are starting to uh, wake up to their agenda. Okay, so just like the scriptures say, they're gonna uh, put themselves in array against Babylon. Okay. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna dispose of this place. And you can see it. You can see it through through the count countenance of uh, of these other leaders from these other countries, man. They're not stable. They I mean America's not stable <laughs> any longer, man. They don't have any uh, ruler. Uh, 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 position okay America is almost a third world country okay and it's just getting worse and worse by the day man whether people uh, notice it or not man the prophecies are still going to come true and this place is going to be taken out man okay And the only people that see it, and then the Lord, okay. Time is uh is winding down for Babylon the Great. Okay. I don't want to make this too long. Let me get this last one, and then I'm close it on out. But uh, yeah, the if you watch the video, man, it signifies the end. The end of uh, America. Okay, one one more sign to show that this place is uh, it's done for, All right? This is uh, Ecclesiasticus twenty five and six. Start at five. It says, Oh, how comely is the wisdom of old men, the understanding and counsel to men of honor. Okay. And that's that's what this this devil don't show, man, but the men of the Lord we show it, man. Why? Because we in the these scriptures, man, when we understand the counsel of uh the men of the Lord and the Holy Spirit first and foremost, okay which is the spirit of prophecy, which is Yahweh Shai's words, man. Okay, we understand that. And you know, the, you Edomites don't understand it. That's why your your kingdom is done for, okay? Verse six, it says, much experience is the crown of an old man and the fear of power is their glory, okay? Yeah, because we fear the most high, man. Something that you Edomites don't do, man. 
And that's why your yeah, days are numbered. That's why it's at an end for you guys, man. Okay. Mainly because the Most High don't like you. All right. Because every, every work that you have did upon the earth brings death and destruction. And that's the bottom line, man. Whether you like it or not, that's what you have done. That's what you were set up to do. Verse 7, it says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what all Israelites should be thinking. You know, but that's not going to be so because two-thirds of y'all are going to be destroyed anyways. Because you eat pork, you eat the foul, uh, 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 not the foul, but abominations. Do your own, your own thing according to your own belly. And uh, it's not going to sit well with the Most High. Unless you repent and put away all those things that uh, you're doing. And that's only for the, the children of Israel. The elect of Israel will do, okay? They will hear the word and they will do what the word is saying, all right? But yeah, the end of this kingdom is definitely showing its face. Uh, and there's no way around it for you Edomites, man. The men of the Lord are right. Um, first and foremost, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Is is the the author of the whole uh, grand scheme of things, and there's no way around him because he wrote the end from the beginning, so he already knows what's going on. Okay, so with that, I want to say, Kalaya Hawa Bashem Yahushai Bashem Bakadash Shalom.